Hello everyone out there. Welcome back to long-term viewers and new viewers alike to my channel. Now, just a warning. Um, I'm going to speak about... Well, the things I want to speak about may be triggering for some people, so... Obviously, yeah. If you feel uncomfortable about anything I'm about to share, please stop. <laughs> Don't watch any further. Um, I mean that sincerely and I easily get the giggles, but... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this, this, I'll, I'll say, what is this? Um, firstly, just a little bit of a backstory. It is the first month of winter in Melbourne, and, you know, afternoons get darker, quicker, um, you know, around five o'clock it already starts to get dark, and then by six it's completely dark. The weather's colder, it doesn't feel as comfortable to get out of bed, or it's more difficult to get out of bed, you're blasting the heater, you're having warm soup, anyway, all that. And for me, I tend to get a lot more thought-provoked, maybe is that the word, or contemplative, reflective, introspective, <gasps> Spectral Boys album, introspective. So, I just wanted to say, because, um, unless YouTube suddenly doesn't exist, I hope not, um, I know technology is always improving, but I hope one thing that will continue for decades or generations to come is YouTube. Um, for me, yeah, I use it like a video diary, and obviously things I do want to share. Um, I keep a paper diary for private things. Um, but yeah, ever since I had this channel, it's a great outlet for me in a creative capacity. And also to be able to talk to an audience. Um, I know most of you are anonymous and will probably never meet, but I know when I watch other people's channels and they tell stories or personal accounts, it just, yeah, somehow does make me feel a little bit more connected, even though, yeah, it's not like I'll ever meet them or vice versa. Anyway, so enough of that. So the reason I'm recording this is, I guess, for posterity, is that the word? my posture, <laughs> posterity, <laughs> um, if ever my channel doesn't have new content, like you're starting to find, gosh, it's been a month, two months, three months, Ivan hasn't posted anything, I mean, touch wood, um, it's a fact that I might have died, I mean, I hate to sound all morbid, I don't mean to be morbid, but we all have to go through it one day, and really that would be yeah, I'd so say that would be the only reason why I'd stop my YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> I would hope if ever I'm just, I don't know, either too fatigued or, again, touch wood due to a medical condition or, you know, I'm just not, have the strength or faculties to record any more YouTube. I would hope to post, unlike others that use it like clickbait, <laughs> um, and they do, uh, where they say, you know, they have the headline goodbye or the end and then you know it's not the end it's just the end of that period or the end of that era or the end of a project or they're launching a second channel but for me yeah I just want this to be a record out there if anybody sees this in decades to come hopefully it will be decades to come I'll still be here that if ever you don't see any new content anymore yeah and I'm not able to tell you <laughs> that I'm stopping the channel whatever reason, that's probably why that I've died. Um, I don't know, um, I just uh, recall, I mean, there's many films about aging and getting older and even films that speculate what it might be like on the other side. But um, one, I mean, I'm a Star Trek fan, you probably could tell, or you probably have been able to tell that some of my topics or videos are Star Trek themed. I've got a playlist called Star Trek themed. So the film Star Trek Generations um, with Patrick Stewart and, and William Shatner, the line that Patrick Stewart says, I think to Dr. Soren, um, oh no, Dr. Soren says to, to Picard, uh, Malcolm McDowell's character, um, you know, we, we leave so many unfinished things in our lives and Maybe Picard is a realisation, gosh, I, I've watched that film many times, but it's just off the top of my head, I'm, I'm not sure who actually referred to it. Anyway, it was a conversation between Dr. Soren and Captain Picard, or maybe it's Captain Picard to Counselor Troy. Yeah, he realises that, I think it is, 
It's when Councillor Troy counsels the captain when he hears the news. I mean, I won't spoil it. He hears news about his family, for those who haven't seen the film. Um, and the captain comes to a realisation that there's fewer years ahead than behind. And yes, I'm starting to feel that too. I mean, is the grey hairs a giveaway at all? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's really all I just wanted to say. Um, I have no no reason to stop the channel, this channel, and I'm only going to stick to one channel. Um, it's only a hobby, like I said, a bit like a video diary. You're like a fly on the wall joining me on my seasonal adventures. Um, I mean, if ever it does get to, you know, what's the first tier when you get one of those YouTube Play Awards? Is it 100,000 subscribers? I mean, if that ever happens one day, I'm grateful to you all. I mean, it's it's really the viewers that make the content creators really so um <clears throat> without yeah subscribers without an audience of anyone's content you wouldn't reach those um hallmarks anyway um yeah so i just wanted to yeah i don't i sure maybe not as sure as the word if you're ever wondering would i stop this channel no and the only reason i would stop it is if i'm not here <laughs> not if I've uh, um, been released from my mortal coil, Star Trek Voyager episode title, <laughs> another one about death, and Coda as well with Captain Joe. Lots of, yeah, Star Trek and many other TV shows have touched upon the topics of death. So it's touched upon in Star Trek Generations, uh, the Star Trek Voyager episodes, Mortal Coil and Coda, Deep, Deep Star Trek Deep Space Nine, The Visitor, many. I mean, I won't go on. <laughs> there you go. So I'll continue to make this, this, I'll we'll continue to make new content as long as I can, and that I am capable of doing so. I will do it. I know some of it is drivel, and <laughs> you don't like it, and it, some don't get any views at all. Um, just recently when I posted um, an upload of Luke Hemmings, the lead singer of Five Seconds of Summer, or Five Sauce for short, I know fans out there would have been there at the Palais Theatre with me, watching his solo work so you probably think i don't need to see it in, on your channel especially i was at the almost at the very back row of my section actually i was in the back row of my section on the right hand side <coughs> pardon me from the back um from luke's point of view would be on the left um from the stage um you can't see his face clearly it's way i didn't focus i did zoom in a little bit just to get the frame of the stage but you can't see his face clearly and yeah fans would prefer to see his face i would imagine or you'd be in the front row so oh in other words luke hemming's videos haven't got many views at all um that could be due to my audience i have through the analytics found my audience members are around of my generation so broadly speaking maybe my generation is not aware of five seconds of summer or that's not kind of the music you like Therefore, you wouldn't be interested in watching content about Luke Hemmings. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, anyway, and then there's other content um, just before I go, just sharing with you at, to this date, which is the Saturday, the, where are we? 15th, Saturday, 15th of June, 2024. Um, the Charlie Puth, is that how you pronounce his name? Puth, Puth, Charlie Puth. Uh, where he did a dedication song for um, the late Luke Perry, and uh, Luke Perry, Matthew Perry, Matthew Perry. Oh gosh, I'm going to get hate mail for this. <laughs> uh, Matthew Perry from Friends, uh, best known for the, his character Chandler Bing on Friends. Uh, that so far has been my highest viewed um, video. I think over now, maybe close to 60,000 views. So again, you know, other people have 100,000 views, 500,000 views, and that's amazing. But <laughs> yeah, it's a start. I know it's not my content. It's basically me, me again filming Charlie Puth. Again, it's not close up. It's just a long shot. I'm towards the back of, I think it's a Rod Laver Arena. And I didn't, I didn't think I zoomed in in that case for that particular show of his. So you can't... Uh, chalk up the number of views to you know the visuals <laughs> I would think that people relate to it because of the actual sentimentality and the sincerity of um, Charlie Booth including a dedication to to um, Matthew Perry yeah 
so yeah there we go um oh okay one more thing there's always one more thing recently my a short video which is you know youtube shorts a minute long maximum of a minute as a youtube short um the video i made about the sign that said pedestrians pointing this way where the staircase one staircase of fed square federation square was taped off this only gives the opportunity to say it wasn't fed square management that did all that there was a outside contractor they must have been doing some work i noticed there was a lot of drilling noises and maintenance maybe it's to do with beer deluxe um or that pathway between beer deluxe and and what's next door to oh sorry what's next door to be like it's acme acmi um <clears throat> so those barricades and everything wasn't weren't put up by fed square so they're not to blame i'm not i'm not pointing the finger at them i'm pointing the finger at the contractors that put that sign maybe they did um like one of the the only comment i've got from it that it could have been pointing to an alternative path and i would think so but the arrow is not very helpful for those that don't know fed square so pointing literally that way points to beer deluxe and you're probably thinking do i go through beer deluxe to get down the stairs no but anyway so that so far has something like 6.4k so it's 6400 views and I definitely did not expect that. <laughs> Usually shorts only get a handful of views, so um, I'm grateful. I know it's maybe reflecting my naivety, thinking, oh, he's made such a big deal about not being able to go down that particular staircase. But I was reacting to it rather, <laughs> rather spontaneously. I thought to myself, this is an affront to my freedom of movement. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you for, it's just, I, I can't ever predict what strikes a chord with the audience. So as myself with even, um, you know, subscribe channels, I think I look at the topic I'm not interested. Or yes, I'll immediately click onto it thinking, yep, I'm looking forward to this. So anyway, I think I've rambled enough. So just to recap, the reason for this video was just to say if ever this, if ever my channel, Seasonal Adventures, has no new content for months, years, decades to come, that would mean that I'm not able to create content anymore for whatever reason, hopefully not for any dire reason. But um, I will say, if I choose not to make any more videos, I will say I will make a last video to you all and explain why. But if I don't, assume that it's going to go on and on. Bye for now.